Hello once again and welcome to yet another lesson on the present tense. In previous lessons, we learned about the simple present tense, the present continuous tense, the present perfect tense and finally, in this lesson, we will discuss the present perfect continuous tense. In your pupil's book, page 62 and 63, the four tenses are presented in the revision point. Let's look at the definition given about the present perfect continuous tense. It says, for actions that began in the past and are still continuing. They have also given an example. The others have been practicing since 8 o'clock. The words in bold depict the present perfect continuous tense. This shows you that the others were practicing in the past and continue to do so in the present as well. So what is the present perfect continuous tense? The present perfect continuous tense is also known as the present perfect progressive tense. It is used as mentioned in your pupil's book to show that something started in the past and is continuing till the present time. The present perfect continuous tense uses two auxiliary verbs together with the main word. So if we are looking at how the, this tense is structured, we can find this construction. Has or have been plus the present participle or root verb plus ing. Let's use the example given in the pupil's book. The one we read earlier to get an idea of how to understand the construction better. In this sentence, the verb in present perfect continuous tense is have been practicing. So you would notice that have been is used with the present participle. How do we make the present participle? It's simple. You use the root verb practice in this case and to this we add the ing. You must be wondering why the practice is spelt like this. Since I am using British English, the verb practice is spelt with an S and the noun practice is spelt with a C. Since we now have a general idea of how we could construct the present perfect continuous tense, let's look at another example. Sajid has been reading this book for a month now. This should indicate to you that Sajid has been reading this book or has begun this activity for some time in the past. One month to be exact, according to the text. And he is currently continuing to read it too. Look at the construction. Has been plus present participle. In this case, the action, reading. Interestingly, we often find words like recently and lately when using the present perfect continuous tense. For example, we may say, the Hamsi has been working really hard lately. Or, the rugby team has been competing in tournaments recently. Notice how lately and recently are used at the end of these sentences. It shows that these are both actions that have commenced in the past but are still continuing right now too. The Hamsi is still working hard and the rugby team is still competing in tournaments. We also use for and since with the present perfect continuous tense. We use for to talk about a period in time like three hours, two months or one decade and we use since to talk about a point in the past time. 9 o'clock, 1st January, Monday and so on. Let's look at this table. The first column shows the phrases that you can use alongside for and the second column shows what you can use alongside since. So using this table, I can say, I have been playing this video game for three hours. Senuka hasn't been feeling well for two weeks. Kumari 
has been living in Hambantota since she left school. The match has been going on since 3 p.m. So, how do we construct negative sentences using the present perfect continuous tense? You simply add not after the first auxiliary verb. In other words, after have or has. Let's look at an example. I have not been playing the guitar lately. See how not comes after have, your auxiliary. The rest of the sentence remains the same based on the construction we learnt at the very onset. When we formulate a sentence using the present perfect continuous tense, we exchange the subject and the first auxiliary verb. Let's look at another example. A statement like, She has been cooking in the kitchen for some time now. This sentence could be changed to, Has she been cooking in the kitchen for some time now? Has is your first auxiliary verb and she is your subject. They switch, as you can see, to construct a question. I have been waiting for one hour. You have been talking too much. It has not been raining. We have not been playing football. Have you been seeing her? Have they been doing their homework? The first two examples are statements and follow the usual structure. The third and fourth examples are in the negative. Remember we just insert a not after the first auxiliary verb. Have or has. The final two examples are in the form of questions. You would have noticed how the subject and the first auxiliary verb have exchanged places. When we use the present perfect continuous tense in speaking, we can contract the subject and the first auxiliary verb to make the sentence more casual. We can use contracted verbs in both speaking and informal writing, like texts and emails to friends and family. Let's look at the table to get an idea of how we can contract verbs. I have been becomes I've been. You have been turns into you've been. He has been, he's been. She has been, she's been. It has been, it's been. Ashoka has been, Ashoka's been. The pen has been, the pen's been. We have been, we've been. They have been, they've been. So based on this table, we can write sentences like I've been reading a book that is about the history of Sri Lanka. Ashoka has been helping us with all the work since of late. Similarly, if we are to write sentences in the negative, we could say, I haven't been cooking for some time. It hasn't been this hot since April. Now that we have a rough idea about the present perfect continuous tense and all the other present form tenses found in the revision point on page 63, let's attempt activity 5 on page 63. Complete the sentences using the above tenses. Have you been to Trincomalee? No, I have not. How long does it usually take to get there by bus? You have been studying since early morning. Please take a rest. Thisuri is a good friend of mine. I have known her since childhood. I am going to the library. Would you like to come with me? The southwest monsoon usually brings a lot of rain. My brother studies hard for an exam these days. And that comes to an end of the present tense. We have now successfully learned the simple present tense, the present continuous tense, the present perfect tense, and the present perfect continuous tense. You will master these tenses 
only if you practice them by speaking, reading, and listening to texts that use these tenses frequently. I hope you found this lesson useful. If you did, subscribe to our channel and watch more lessons on your O-level English syllabus. Until next time, goodbye.